Here in the test kitchen, we've long known that gluten is important in baking, but mainly we've done a lot of talking, not a lot of showing. So what is it on a tangible level? Can you see it? Can you feel gluten? I ran a simple experiment to find out just that. I made two basic doughs by mixing flour and water in a food processor until a smooth ball formed. And for one dough, I used cake flour, which contains the least amount of protein of all the different types of flour that you can find at the grocery store, between six and 8% usually. In addition, cake flour is often bleached, which further weakens the proteins. And for the other one, I used bread flour, which contains the most amount of protein, usually running about 12 to 14%, and is generally not bleached. So you can see here, I have two balls of dough, each containing a different amount of gluten. But you can't actually see that, because surrounding that gluten is a whole lot of starch. And the next step, believe it or not, I washed the starch away. I placed each dough in a mesh strainer and massaged them under running water to wash away all of the starch. Once the water ran clear, a sign that the starch was gone, I was left with two piles of essentially pure gluten. As you can see, the differences in appearance and texture of the two are dramatic. The low protein cake flour formed a very small amount of really weak gluten. You can pull it right apart. On the other hand, high protein bread flour formed a large ball of highly resilient rubbery gluten. It can be stretched very thin without tearing. To show just how elastic this bread flour gluten ball is, I'm gonna try and do something a little bit crazy. I'm gonna treat it like a balloon and inflate it with compressed air. So what have we learned from this experiment?